Good morning, y'all. It is June 21st, and it is currently 12 noon. Um, we are headed to the DMV because Ryan's going to try to get Texas residency. I'm going to try to change my ID to a Texas ID. I have never lived in Texas or don't know. Texas doesn't have state taxes, so that could save me a good amount of money overall on my paycheck. And it's worth surrendering my Georgia ID for that, I think. It's kind of sad, though. I don't know. I just have the ID picture taken and everything. Really? Kind of like in, like, December. Damn. Uh, after this, though, we have some fun shopping to do. I really want to go to, like, at home, TJ Maxx, like, any, like, home store because I really want to make the guest room, like, nicer and I want more decor for that room, especially for my, like, filming background. Um, so we're going to check it out and I also want, like, another full-size mirror in that room as well. Um, so I want to get it, like, at a really, you know, good price, cheap price. The mirror that's in our living room right now is from TJ Maxx or HomeGoods or something. And I got it on sale. It was like 80 bucks because there was like a little, little tiny crack. So we got a really good discount on it. Like so, 50? It like Maybe. Crack. I don't know. I couldn't really remember. But all I know and all I remember is that I got it at a really good price for like the size and, you know, the, yeah, like I, it looks really nice. So, it looks like something you would see on Z Gallery some fun and exciting news um ryan's best friend cam whiteman is coming to visit just contacts the big cammy whiteman <laughs> in her phone yeah i think he saved that like a while ago but he is probably like one of ryan's most funny friends i would yeah, say um so i'm excited to have him up here he's working he's actually a grade below us but he's like super smart so he has like an internship in houston right now for the summer because he did it last year too right yeah um summer. yeah so he's in houston um and i think that's what an hour two hour drive mm -hmm. um so he's gonna come today after work and we're possibly gonna go to like a flea market tomorrow or something yeah, like that my garage sale yeah. I'm pretty excited about that actually. In a Cam has been here before, so maybe he knows like places to go for us too. So it'll be fun. Um, hopefully, I'll vlog tomorrow and he can be on the vlog too. <laughs> you love that. Yeah, I know. He actually, sometimes he'll call Ryan and he'll like say something about the vlog, and I'm like, he called Wait, me to what? ask about my apartment hunting. He's like, Watch Sonali's video. Uh, <laughs> how's the apartment hunting? And you're like, he's like yeah. Did you guys choose number seven? <laughs> I was like, Yeah. Yeah, he's. he's He's funny, so I'm excited to see him again. And yeah, we just got to the DMV. Wish us luck, we'll wish Ryan luck because I can't really do anything. I'm, I don't think I'm getting mine today because I don't really have like all my um, paperwork and stuff like that. Plus I'm jobless currently, so I don't really have that much to prove other than that I live here right now, so. Ryan is now a Texas resident. The process is really slow and inefficient, so I don't recommend going there. Unless you go maybe at like 4 a.m. and camp out. And that's literally what I told him to do, and he didn't listen. I did that literally on my 21st birthday. I went there super early in the morning, a.k.a. you know me. I had to get glam before I took my, sh you know, little photo. So I woke up real, real early and then got my papers and headed to the DMV right when I opened. That's what we should have done because he doesn't need to get ready. I don't know why you didn't want to come in the morning. We are at Ulta. I need to pick up a few things. After this, we are going to the Domain. I've been recommended it so much, so we're excited to check it out. So apologies for this vlog. I feel like I just don't have the energy like all the rest of the days that I've been vlogging. Ugh, but I am going to try to vlog for you guys. I've been getting so much good feedback, so I really want to continue vlogging for you guys. So, we are at the Domain. I did go to Ulta and I'll try to do a haul for you guys within the next couple of vlogs or even this vlog, we'll see. But I think we're gonna get home a little bit late today. Um, but we went to TJ Maxx as well and literally the line was like the longest I've ever seen. So, yeah, we like walked out. Now we're at the Domain and it's our first time being here and we might shop around. Um, I think Ryan needs some clothes. In your shirts. He has plenty ones. of KD shirts, and I don't want him wearing those anymore, so we're going to get some plain t-shirts prob probably, and maybe I can look around for like more work wear, because I need that too, so let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
it's my Yeah. 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 Yay. Ryan got some shirts at H&M. And I actually got two things at Zara. I got like a men's shirt and then I got just like a crop top. Which I'm not too into crop tops, but I really liked the material of this. It's like a distressed kind of like gray kind of shirt. So I thought it was cute. Right now we're about to meet up with Emma and her boyfriend. Um, Emma was in the vlog that I went to the Kendra Scott event. We're going to have dinner at Maggiano's. It's currently 6 and we honestly have so much to do before Cam comes. Like... Our place is kind of a disaster right now, and he's staying in the guest room, aka my makeup room, and it is literally like a pigsty. <sighs> Shit, the guest room. The guest bathroom is so gross. Not gross, but just like all my jewelry's everywhere. Like literally, ugh. I didn't even really have the, that much time to organize. So we need to like get home like ASAP after dinner, but we'll see. Um, Cause we still have like, loads of laundry to do and all that stuff and I think he's coming at like 9 so we'll see We are at the Erin Condren store where all the bloggers freaking take their pictures on this, these steps. Hello. I'm walking where all the bloggers take their pictures. We just went to Wonder Bar. Oh my god. We couldn't we couldn't take our disco balls. I'm so sad. Out, but it's fine. I'll just buy it on Amazon later, whatever. Alright, here we are at the other blogger spot. Same building, Erin Condren. This is very creative. Yeah. I love it. So there is a Fabletics store here and I actually really want to go inside and feel the leggings because a lot of influencers, you know, support this brand so I want to see what it's about. Hi! Just looking around. I like it. Not Lululemon, but very interesting. I think getting sports bras in here would be good. Yes. You know, like the, this is like I a good basic. <laughs> oh, that's a little better. I but. like that, but not white. Mm -mm. Hmm. It's so cool that they have a store though. Like I have only ever seen it uh, online. Okay, I literally feel like I'm in LA right now with all these like random stores that oh, I've never yeah. seen before. So we are on our way home from the domain and funny story, the first time we pulled up into the domain. I think we were in like the lower sector of it, so it was where um, Express was. I don't really remember. Oh, Zoomies was Dick's there, Sporting Dick's Sporting Goods, and we thought that that was it. We were like, okay, what is so amazing about this place? Because we have Avalon back home, and that is a nice place to be. So we thought it was going to be like an Avalon type of thing, like outdoor mall, really, really nice, you know, very wealthy area. So we pull into the express part and we're just like, okay, this is like stores, I guess, but like where are all the other stores that everyone was talking about, like the Sephora and like all those other stores. And then like 20 minutes, like wandering around, walking in this crazy, stupid heat, we realized that there's a whole other sector like a 0.5 miles away. So we had to like go get our car and drive to the other sector and we realized that, yeah. There was a whole other part of it that we did not even like realize, and that was definitely the nicer part. So, we went there, and we, as you guys saw, we finally went shopping. We um, got him some t-shirts. I got a few things from Zara, and um, I definitely wanna go back there. It was so cool, like they just have so many cool shops that you don't have in Atlanta or Georgia. Like they had Brandy Melville, and like, I 
feel like 13 year old me or 14 year old me would be screaming if she saw Brandy Melville in the city that she lives in. But right now, I don't know, I'm just like not really into that anymore, but maybe I'll stop in one day. But even the like Fabletics store, it was just so cool to see all these like stores that you see only online they're like right in front of your face in the city that you live in. It's just so cool. And I was just telling Ryan that like, I think we made a good compromise living in Austin because there's just so many similarities between California and here that I see. It's just cool. I, I don't know. It's like different from Atlanta and I'm really happy to be here. So update on how I'm liking Austin. We're really, really liking it. So I'm glad to be here. So Cam actually got to our place a little bit earlier. Um, so we are kind of rushing home to let him in. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here for the night and I'll pick it up in the morning. Bye! So it is the next day and we are here at the Palmer Event Center for a citywide garage sale. We're gonna, well, Ryan's gonna try to find some boots. And a coffee table. Yeah, that's my goal, coffee table. So it's gonna be interesting. Seven dollars to get in per person. So hopefully we find something good. Well, let's see what, how much it is. Yeah, I know. None of us found anything at the garage sale, but we are gonna go and try to go into Terry Black's barbecue. Hopefully they didn't run out yet because it's already noon, so we're not really sure what's going on. I'm excited and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm really starving. Terry Black's and I just got done and I actually think Lambert's is better. The brisket is a little better and the sausage is definitely better. Yeah, the sausage was better at Lambert's but I thought the brisket was pretty good here. Yeah, I don't know, it's good. It'll be $35 in the back for it. So we are on South Congress because we are going where? To Cobus. It's a boot shop? Yeah, it's like the name. It's like a, that's a brand of boots. But um, I'm gonna find some boots here. Allen boots. Come front. I have them. They're um, just a dark brown with a black logo. What do you think? I like them. I'm excited. These are Allen's brand ostrich boots. 
I wanted a little darker, but I think these are going to darken up nice. So I'm happy with them. I'm a true Austin right now. Don't say that. All these Austin people are going to get pissed at yeah, you. <laughs>